If you are looking for inspiration, there's no shortage of places to look for it. Art, design, music, people, cultures, places, movies, books. There are countless articles available to tell you how to find inspiration. But what do you do with that inspiration once you find it? We all need a push to grow sometimes as creators and uh, utilizing inspiration is a great way to expand what we already do and learn new skills. We can find out how we want to morph our creative work by looking at inspiration and drawing from it. And I'm not talking about directly referencing what somebody who does what you want to do is doing. We're not talking about copying even in a broad sense. We're talking about finding the inspiration and just really drawing out the essence of what that is and applying it to your own work and your own voice. And I've created a set of exercises to help us accomplish that. So let's get to it. You are going to need a writing utensil and you are going to need a writing surface. I don't care what you use, preferably something that's not too uh, designed and fussy because you don't want distractions. This is serious business, folks. Okay. So first we're gonna find one thing that inspires you. It can be a work of art, a piece of music, a memory of a vacation, something that somebody said to you. It can be virtually anything. Try to be as specific about it as you can, um, even if it is a general topic, like a genre of something, and write it down. The next thing we're going to do is make some lists. With this list, we're gonna get really specific into breaking up all the components of your inspiration. Break it down into all of its definable elements all of its descriptive elements, anything that makes it what it is. Really get into it. It could be the medium that's used in a piece of artwork, the color palette. It could be what it makes you feel. It could be memories that it evokes. It could be a sense of smell that goes along with whatever it is. Get both broad and specific. Dig into all of the senses and everything that it communicates to you. Now, that's step two. Out of that list, highlight or star a couple of the items, anywhere from I'd say one to three, that are the things that make it what it is to you, what is so important about it. If it's a piece of art, what is the thing about that piece of art that makes it inspirational to you? Figure that out out of your list and just take away the most key components of that. Okay, fresh slate, clean piece of paper. Starting again, not entirely. Take the elements, the one through three that I had you highlight, and we're gonna write them out on here, maybe either in rows or columns, because now we're gonna do a little writing about why those elements are important to you, why they speak to you, what is it about them that makes them special, that makes you want to do something with it or without it, whatever it is. Just really dig into this. Take some time to think it through. Why does it matter to you? What is it about it? This is the really important part. If you got to do a little bit of research on something, that's okay too. Google search to your heart's desire if you're trying to understand the motivation behind something to see if it makes sense for you. Just take your time in this step because this is important. All right, that's where things got really down and dirty. And this is the information that we can actually make use of. So that was the most important part of all of this. So if you take the elements that you've now broken down into their meaning and what makes them important, and you take them outside of the context of the original inspirational piece. How do they feel to you? Do they still have the same impact? Does it still make you think? 
Does it still make you question? Does it still create a spark? What do these elements feel like to you when they stand on their own? Um, what do they say on their own? And look at them in the context of your own lens. What do they say to you? What can you say through them? Can you reinvent any of these elements with your own hands, in your own voice, through your own work? So now get busy. Play with the ideas, put them into effect. Uh, try it out, try incorporating some of those elements into what you do. Whether you're making videos, writing music, writing a great American novel, making art as I do, anything. See where it fits into what you do and where you are as a creator. Try it out in different ways. As most of us know, the first go is rarely ever a true success. So you learn what you can from those first attempts and then tweak the process, try it again and practice it. Maybe it is just something that can be added to your toolbox or incorporated into your voice. Maybe you will find that it doesn't fit for you. If that's the case, pick another element and try that. Or go back to the drawing board with a whole different source of inspiration and try the process again and see what you can glean from that that might be a little different. Okay, on my next video, I'm gonna be walking through an example of doing this myself to create a new idea for a drawing or painting as I'm a 2D artist and that's what I do. Um, so be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications because you don't wanna miss this, it's gonna be good. Take care, stay sane, make things. I'll see you guys next time. Well, I want you guys to know that two weeks into the shelter at home order, you are the only ones that I still put on makeup for. That's how much I love you. You're welcome. <laughs>